good afternoon class. Today we want to consider formal letters. Uh, before I start with the hints on writing a formal letter, writing is a process. So there are some tasks you must carry out before you start writing. One of them is that you identify the subject, the subject of your writing. So that answers the question, why? Why are you writing? What are you writing? What, 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 what is the what of your essay? So you must identify the subject. You must also identify the purpose and your, and your audience. So these three elements are very important before you start writing. So, we want to examine uh, the structure of a formal letter this afternoon. Then, I want you to know that in writing, in essay generally, the examiner is out to assess your use of the English language. The examiner will assess your proficiency in the use of English. I want to test your ability to express yourself in a very simple manner. How you can manage words, or let me say, economy of words, clarity of expression and simplicity. These are the three issues that the examiner assesses in U.S. So, formal letter now. A formal letter is that kind of letter that's written for official purposes, so official purposes. So, that kind of letter is written to people in position of authority. Is it written to dignitaries, people who occupy uh, dignifying positions in the society? So it is a it is a letter written to a professional setting. So how do we write a formal letter? The first thing is to identify the address of the writer, the address of the writer. The other time when I started, I told you that um, you must identify the subjects of your writing. You must identify the purpose and the audience. Now, let's exemplify these um, factors with a question here on the formal letter. The sanitary, the sanitary condition of your community. is appalling and there are fears there are fears of an outbreak of diseases A letter. Write a letter for the chairman of your local government drawing his attention to the situation and suggest ways to tackle it. Now, let us examine this question. The purpose of writing here is to draw the attention of the chairman to the poor sanitary condition in my local government, in my, in my community. So that is the purpose. I'm writing for the chairman who has capacity to deal with this problem. So the first thing in form a letter is your address address of the writer, which is written at the right side of the paper. An example is this, five, 
Smith Street. I am in Bala. The bits will be tens. November 2022. Address of the writer written this way. It will be written in this block form or there's a slatin form, but preferably you would choose this. Then the address of the receiver here, on the left hand side here, the chairman. I am the local government area. The Bible of your seat. This is the address of the receiver here. So the next thing now is the salutation. The salutation for a formal letter is usually Dear Sir or Madam, as the case may be. Then you put a call. Then the title, the title, the title, the title should be very brief and it must capture the subject and purpose of your writing. The title should be very brief. And to the point, it was captured the subject and purpose. I'm an entrepreneur and a software engineer based in Ibadan, Nigeria. My years at McPherson University were definitely my defining years. Today, I'm one of the young IT professionals changing the status quo in Nigeria. I have even started consulting for A-list companies. I'm a chartered accountant and a 2016 first class graduate from the Department of Accounting and Finance, McFarsey University, Nigeria. McFarsey University provided me with the best ever learning environment. A serene and quiet environment that inspired, motivated and prepared me for the world of works. Today, I'm not just a chartered accountant, but a community youth leader reputed for diligence, exemplary leadership and commitment. That's always the story of students who opt for McPherson University, Nigeria's fastest growing faith-based university established by First Square Gospel Church, Nigeria and situated in the serene environment of Serikin Sotayo, Ogun State. At McPherson University, we expose our students to a multicultural setting and diverse fields of knowledge through interactive teaching methodologies, project-based and hands-on learning techniques. Available undergraduate courses include Nursing Science, Medical Laboratory Science, Cyber Security, Information Technology, Software Engineering, Computer Science, Biochemistry, Microbiology, Economics and International Relations. Others are Mass Communication, Accounting, Finance, History and International Studies, Religion and Peace Studies, Business Administration, Marketing and English. We have undergraduate part-time and conversion programs in many courses as well as JUPEP program. We also run postgraduate for PGD, MSc and PhD in Computer Science as well as Masters in Business Administration, MBA. Our telephone hotlines are 0803-473-6991, and 0803-430-4512. Or visit www.mcu.edu.ng. Welcome to Mafasin University, the home of champions. Here we raise people of excellence who will render service with godly fear, admission is on. Of this, so in this case now we have poor sanitary condition. In my unit, On the way forward. 
you could put this this way, or you write post salutary condition in IAB um, probable remedial measures. So the title now, two things are highlighted here. The subject is a post salutary condition, and the purpose here is that we want to suggest ways of tackling this problem. Subject and purpose. Now, the first thing now is the introductory paragraph. You see, this is where we want to you want to demonstrate your proficiency in the use of English now. In the introduction, the introduction is very important in essay writing because it must be appealing to the reader. It must capture the essence of the, of, of the entire essay. If the introduction is poorly written, it will mark the entire essay. So it is advisable that the writer crafts this section very well. So in this section now, we need a bit of creativity. In this kind of uh, question, you could start by congratulating the chairman for his success at the polls. Maybe you, are, you want to argue that um, the chairman has just been uh, elected, he won an election at the local government elections and the, it was uh, returned as uh, the chairman of the local government. You could congratulate him and uh, appreciate the giant stride he has done since his uh, emergence as the chairman of that local government. Then you now introduce the fact that the health challenge, you introduce the health challenges that the people are facing in the community and identify specifically the poor sanitary condition which has lingered for some months now in the, in the, in the community. You could say again that in the introductory paragraph that you have attended several forums in the community. There have been agitations, there have been reactions about this uh, sanitary condition. But None of the community members has risen officially to address this problem. And this is what informed uh, your reaction. That you'd be very happy if the chairman could address the issue you want to raise in this letter. That you were there in this letter to describe the poor sanitary condition and recommend ways of tackling them. Of tackling them. That's all for the introduction. Now, Subsequent paragraphs now, you have to discuss in paragraphs the points you want to raise in the subsequent paragraphs. In the first, uh, I mean in the second paragraph after the introduction, that paragraph should be devoted to description, description of the poor sanitary conditions first, before you recommend ways of tackling them. What I mean, how will you describe this poor sanitary condition? Here, we need your proficiency. You could come up with metaphorical expressions, images, to paint the exact picture of this poor sanitary condition. You want to describe the condition with vivid illustrations, use examples, mention specific spots in the community, describe it with examples. So, and your description of the convincing. So, having done that, in the, in the next paragraph now, you now tell us ways which you feel that this problem could be tackled. One, you could say that, that there should be enlightenment program. Educative program. On proper hygiene. In the community, that would be the first one. The second one would be that um, the, the local government should provide toilet facilities, provision of toilet facilities, and the third one would be a provision of uh, waste disposal, provision of waste. disposals and the community. So each of these points must be explained in paragraphs. 
So your knowledge of paragraphing comes in here. And you must write in such a way that the first one here, coming now with educating program on proper hygiene, she will be linked to the second one. You describe the, this first one in such a way that it connects the, 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 the next one, which is provision of toilet facilities. You will introduce linkers, the connectors. You must see them, you must demonstrate how these three points interact. So, the, uh, the second one, toilet facilities, you must also create vivid imagery of how the provision of toilet facilities will enhance the sanitary condition of the local of the uh, community. So, they talk for this one, provision of waste disposal in the, the community. Then, you conclude. The, con the conclusion presents a recap of the points you have raised and the body of the work. Then, the complementary clause, which is the last segment in the former uh, letter. The complementary clause is written this way, yours, with the capital letter Y, yours faithfully. Put a comma. You are pending your signature and your full name. I'm an entrepreneur and a software engineer based in Ibado, Nigeria. My years at McPherson University were definitely my defining years. Today, I'm one of the young IT professionals changing the status quo in Nigeria. I have even started consulting for A-list companies. I'm a chartered accountant and a 2016 first class graduate from the Department of Accounting and Finance, McPherson University, Nigeria. McPherson University provided me with the best ever learning environment. A serene and quiet environment that inspired, motivated, and prepared me for the world of works. Today, I'm not just a chartered accountant, but a community youth leader reputed for diligence, exemplary leadership, and commitment. That's always the story of students who opt for McPherson University, Nigeria's fastest growing faith based university, established by First Square Gospel Church, Nigeria, and situated in the serene environment of Serikin Sotayo, Ogun State. At McPherson University, we expose our students to a multicultural setting and diverse fields of knowledge through interactive teaching methodologies, project based, and hands on learning techniques. Available undergraduate courses include nursing science, medical laboratory science, cyber security, information technology, software engineering, computer science, biochemistry, microbiology, economics, and international relations. Others are mass communication, accounting, finance, history and international studies, religion and peace studies, business administration, marketing, and English. We have undergraduate part-time and conversion programs in many courses as well as JUPEP program. We also run postgraduate for PGD, MSc, and PhD in Computer Science as well as Masters in Business Administration, MBA. Our telephone hotlines are 0803 473 6991, 0803 423 4432, 0812 469 9889, and 0803 330 4512. Or visit www.mcu.edu.ng. Welcome to Malfasin University, the home of champions. Here we raise people of excellence who will render service with godly fear and mission is on.